toughest hero in all of ancient Greece, and arguably the world. He's the son of Zeus, the strongest man in the world. He's performed the Twelve Labours, and he's my guest tonight. Hercules, great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me, Mike. You downplayed me a bit there, though, I mate. I do that my guest, Hercules. Now, I, I want to start by uh, taking you back to your childhood. Uh, can you recall your birth at all? Yeah, briefly, bits and briefly. pieces. Briefly. Well, you're fresh out of your mother's womb. You've been placed in your baby clothes. Can you take the story from there? Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm just lying there, and the two snakes come at me, and they're... You know, biting at me, so I grab one in one hand, one in the other, and strangle the bits to him. Nice work. Well, uh, well Pindar, he, uh, he describes this as your first trial of battle. Um, I'm going to quote him here for you. He says that, In two unescapable hands, he seized the two serpents by their necks, he strangled them, and his grip squeezed the life out of their unspeakable frames. I think this really set you up for your life of heroism against the monsters of the world. Would you agree? Yeah, of course, but that's just the rigours of a Greek mythological childhood, I guess. Yes, well, um, do you have any idea who sent these snakes, by the way? Yeah, I think I have a good idea, Mike. Well, that's great, because it actually brings me to my next question. Okay, so Hercules, let me just get this straight. You have to serve the king of Tyrans and Mycenae for 12 years as punishment for something quite frankly caused by Hera, not you. That's tough. And uh, having said that, nowadays you probably would get life in prison, so you may have come out on the better end. Um, now, as part, of, as part of your sentence, rather... You had to perform these 12 labours. Uh, it was initially 10, but we'll get to that later. These feats, they, they seemed impossible. Uh, I believe this task really defined you as Greece's greatest hero. Oh, so and like <laughs> it. <laughs> no, it created your eventual fame and immortality. Do you agree? Oh, 100%. 100%. Okay. After the break, your 12 labours. Ritual was to go fishing. Two flake, two cakes, double serve of chips. Double serve of salt. Take your Friday night ritual to the next level and experience footy's best coverage. Our ritual now, Fox Footy. Live in HD from no ad breaks, siren to siren. And no salt. So why is there such hatred from Hera? Is it fair? Did you do something or are you just paying for your father's mistakes? Well, you'd have to ask Zeus that. But personally, my, I feel that it's really unfair. You know, Dad's got other children, so you tell me, Mike, why me? You know, she's my aunt, so I'm, so I'm puzzled as to why she, she shows like, so much anger towards us. That is odd, but I can tell you that you're not the only one. She's also known for the persecutions of Low and Anus. Uh, it's believed that Hera was the neglected wife of Zeus while she was married to him. Your thoughts on that? Take up with Zeus, mate. You don't have to constantly harass me, you know? It's just... Yeah. I think she's a bit jealous there. One of your most famous labours was to bring Eurystheus the skin of an invulnerable lion. Uh, it was known to terrorise the hills of Nuia. Uh, in fact, it was your first task. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, well, I, I engaged in battle with said lion and uh, I found my arrows to be, to be useless against, against it. So uh, I did what any normal person would do in that situation. Then I trapped it in a cave and strangled it with my bare hands. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, we've all seen you in the attic phases wearing the skin of the lion. Uh, Euripides, he says that... And he wore on his back the lion's tawny skin, and its fearful jaws framed his fair head. Uh, it seems to be your favourite outfit, everyone thinks so, why aren't you wearing it now? Yeah, oh, it's at the, it's at the uh, laundromat, oh. uh, yeah, but it's from my spring collection, so you can... Oh, <laughs> fair enough then, fair enough. Uh, is it true that once Eurystheus found out you killed this lion, he actually became afraid of you, and he had a large bronze jar made and buried part away in the earth so that he could hide from you? Yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't see me face to face, that coward piece of shit. Okay then, uh, bit, bit violent. <laughs> yeah, just a bit violent with the swears there, but um... A few buried wounds that you've just... Well, we'll move on. Anyway, anyway yeah. Now, now your second labour uh, involves the killing of the Lerman Hedra. Uh, it's a serpent with nine heads, one of which was immortal. Uh, you had your mate, or, or nephew rather, allow us uh, with you? Did he help you kill it? Yeah, Laos, uh, Laos did help assist me, and he was good company, and as much as I hate to say it, he, uh, yeah, I, probably, I may not have been successful uh, without his help. Well, because of Laos' involvement, Eurystheus was not impressed. He did not count this, as, this labour as one of the original ten. Is that fair? Well, look, the thing had bloody nine heads, mate. I'd like to see him get out of, you know, get out of stopping a, an abomination as such. I, I agree entirely. I'm going to skip ahead eight years here. Uh, you just performed ten superhuman labours, yet you were not considered off the hook. Uh, Eurystheus, he demanded two more. He did not count the hedra or the stables as done properly. Well, that's extremely harsh. Uh, your next task was no walk in the park either. 
Uh, you had to retrieve the famous golden apples belonging to Zeus, of all gods. Uh, bonus question, did you know what you were doing? To be honest with you, not really. Yeah, well, not really. I, I didn't know where the, the, the apple, the garden was containing the apple, uh, but I, I had, a, had an inkling of an idea um, when I reached Mount uh, Corsicus. Caucasus? Caucasus, <laughs> yeah, well, th this is where you found Prometheus, is it? Uh, yeah, he, he was bound to the pillar, and uh, when I, I found him and, and killed the eagle, uh, and in return he told me the secret of getting the, getting the apples. What, what was the secret? Can I, can I hear it? Uh, he, he said to send uh, Atlas to get the apples instead. Atlas, yeah. so Atlas he, he was bound to hold up the sky and earth. Uh, he was the key to Prometheus' plan. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. He didn't enjoy the, the job, so I took the burden of holding up the sky whilst he went to retrieve the apples. Uh, and he got the apples but wanted to take them to Eurotheseus uh, himself while I held the sky. And uh, I agreed to that, to that stipulation, but when I asked him to hold the sky for a moment, so I could put some padding on... On the guns, uh, he put down the apples and and reclaimed the sky. So uh, once he did, I, I grabbed the apples and ran. And he really fell for that one. Yeah, yeah he did. What a what a. <laughs> Overall, what was the most difficult aspect of the entire journey? Probably the probably the journey itself, Mike. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you've realised, but there was a lot of travel, a lot of travelling to do here and there, there and here. Have you ever been to the underworld point? I uh, no, I haven't actually. No. Well, uh, there was no, there was no air travel back then, Mike. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was quite a fair trip. So, what's next for Hercules? Do you have any plans in your near immortality? Well, you look, I got got nothing major planned. Might, might, uh, I've got a got a place in my Spain, so I might uh, just go lay low there, lay low there for a while. But um, yeah, I, I really have a really, like a, it's a big hobby of mine is, is wrestling. So I might not. Uh, you know, do a bit of wrestling, you know, pump the guns. Very nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's been great having you on the show. Can't touch mine. All right. It's been great having you on the show, Hercules. We've had a very interesting uh, discussion on your very eventful life, and I wish you all the best for the future. Well, thanks for having me, Mike. It's been, uh, been a pleasure. No worries. This has been a Fox Footy production for Fox Sports.